Welcome smackers. Today I'm going to show you how to fix your audio if it's only working in one speaker or one part of your headphones. Whatever's happening with that, we want it to work in both speakers or both parts of your headphone. We're going to go ahead and fix that. I'm going to show you how to. Quick shout out to Aiden2521 for tagging me on Instagram and using my creative code, kevinsmack.tv. I really appreciate that. If you want to shout out, just use my creative code. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and tag me, and you can be in the next start of the video. So let's go ahead and just get right into this. All we have to do is go to the bottom right by the clock here. You'll see your speaker. You want to right click on that, and you want to choose sounds. This window will come up and we want to click playback and that's where we want to be. Just in case you don't have that option, let's go ahead and show you a different way. You can go in the search panel here and type sound and then go ahead and choose sound here and boom, you're back at the same thing. Just make sure you have playback selected. So now that we're in the playback tab, we want to scroll down to where your speakers are. So here's the speakers. They do have a green check mark. So this is it. It'll usually say Realtek Audio. So look for them. And what you want to do next is double click on them. As you double click on them, this window will open. We're going to go ahead and select Levels. On Levels, the important thing here is Balance. Basically, this makes it balance towards one ear or the other. We want to click on that. So my balance is correct because they're both equal. They're 67 and 67. But for example, if you come in here and you're at 2867, you're going to hear a lot more in your left and not as much in your right. So you want to even them out. If it's all the way at zero, you're not going to hear anything in that part of your ear in that range. So you definitely want to make sure you put it to the right area. As long as the numbers are the same, you should be good. And as long as they're positive and they're not zero, uh, you can go ahead and just put it to 100 if you like. I just leave it here because that's what it is and everything works good for me. So once you have that selected, you can go ahead and choose OK. If that's already correct, then it's not a problem with your windows. Once you have that clicked OK, you can go ahead and choose OK and OK again. So now let's talk about if that didn't work. So if that didn't work, most likely it's not a problem with Windows. It's probably an issue with your computer, your headphones themselves. So what you want to do is you want to try your headphones on something else, maybe like an, uh, a phone or a laptop, and see if they're working there. A lot of times what it is, it's the cables. The cables go bad on headphones very often, and that's usually the number one culprit. If the Windows thing did not fix it, the headphone thing will probably be what it is. So you may want to go ahead and look at getting another pair of headphones. I do have a pair of headphones I used to use a lot that were pretty cheap. I'll link them up here if you want to check them out. Also, this video is specifically for PC. I will have a PS4 version coming soon. I will also link that up top for when you're ready for that. It'll probably just be another week or two. So I want to thank everyone for coming in. I hope this resolved it for you. If you're having any other problems, let me know down below. I do read a lot, a lot, a lot of my comments and my ideas do come from you guys a lot of times. So I appreciate the questions. Keep them coming. And I will see you in the next one or on Twitter and Instagram. I'll put my links up here. Have a great one. Smack up.